tonight. Colony claims. Justice Minister rubbishes Chinese colony claims and says seven-member commission leaves no room for irregularities. One person cannot take decisions. It is that seven people together should take the decision. When we try to do something like this, there are players, both international, domestic and their agents, who will always paint a very big picture. Little value for life. The Cardinal says religious extremism just a pawn, used by groups to further selfish political objectives. Practice caution. Epidemiologist warns of a possible post nevia COVID-19 surge in coming weeks. Zero tolerance. Police begin island-wide operation to crack down on speeding and drunk driving after 52 deaths in just five days. All this and much more coming up on this Sunday, the 18th of April, 2021. Alcohol adangu hand sanitizer bavita karanne. Lady roga atikarana visha pija. From Ada Derana. This is Other There Enough First at Nine, live from Studio 24 in Colombo. Good evening and welcome to First at Nine. I'm Shanella Fernando in your top stories for tonight. The debate over the alleged unconstitutionality of the Port City Economic Commission bill continues to rage as government officials rush to counter alleged misinformation being spread by what they termed vested groups attempting to sabotage the country's development drive, further citing the central bank bond scam and the complexities in extraditing the accused former governor, who is also a Singaporean national. Questions were raised during a media briefing today over how foreign nationals will be held accountable in the event of similar irregularities. Responding to the question, Minister of Justice Ali Sabri stated that there will be no room for arbitrary decision-making by a single person, given that the commission is comprised of seven members. The commission shall, in furtherance of the national interest or interest of the advancement of national economy, exercise, perform or discharge the mm -hmm. powers, duties and functions as set out below. A. To issue or grant a registration, license, authorization and other approval to engage in business. Then make a dennet of the cheated. I may boruki ki mahajanata ravata. Nikangmat me panatakila tino the etan business current in a ing in a cotta. Chino company at new tahala. Egolong mut kamathidan. Egolong get no tahala katu karan nikila kila tino. Nah. Kisik can a cotta make a tatagahan natapuan naitia. Tani karama make commission sabah, jana di patituma within Paskan commission sabah within make a karan. Eight lajanatu kid on a minisuravatan to make a chine cotta sakpen waikin. Vaganti B. To facilitate and exercise overall regulatory supervision and control over all investments and business in and from the area of authority of the Colombo Port City in terms of that, with the concurrence of the relevant regulatory authority. The Commission shall, to lease subject to the provisions of this Act and other applicable written law, Meanwhile, responding to a question regarding the appointment of foreign nationals as members of the Port City Commission, Justice Minister Ali Sabri says that anyone with the proper credentials and track record of dealing on the international stage can be eligible, however, only at the President's discretion. What is important is why are we establishing this Port City? to bring and attract foreign investment. So in order to do that, we are establishing a commission. That commission should comprise of people of ability who could attract, who have international standing. As long as majority of the commissioners are where the decisions are being made. Sri Lankans, I have no problem. If somebody is a, is, is a good person who could bring international investment, I don't mind even a foreigner sitting. But it is up to the president to appoint them. China, how any other country had no control. Because they know where it says that Chinese national should be there. It's for the president of the country to appoint mm -hmm. them. 6.9 million people have voted for him. So he should be having that right to do that. And he's answerable at the end of the term. So he will do the right thing by the country. There are about three names that comes into my mind who were Sri Lankans who have gone abroad with all these knowledge. They are either American citizens. One I know is a British citizen. They are no more Sri Lankan citizens. But they have all these qualifications. So, in my case, this paves the way for those gentlemen who have been working for various other top companies to come back to Sri Lanka and serve their motherland. Further, when asked about the issue of responsibility in the case of irregularities, citing the bond scam and the difficulties faced by the authorities in extraditing former Central Bank Governor Arjun Mahendran, a Singaporean citizen, the Justice Minister stated that with the commission consisting of seven members, no single person will be able to take arbitrary decisions. 
One person cannot take decisions here. It is that seven people together should take the decision. Don't look at from one person everything. That person uh, had done something wrong doesn't mean that everyone will do. But it doesn't mean that we want to bring it in. It will be top class Sri Lankans who will be man in this and running this. Unless it is exceptional circumstances which you want to bring somebody in, in line with the objective of the port city. To bring investment. When we try to do something like this, we always have encountered problems in this country. Nothing new. When government is trying to do something good, when our country is about to take off there are players both international domestic and their agents who will always paint a very bleak picture they don't want this country to come to the next level are we doing anything extraordinary we are just following the due process how you normally enact a law you draft it you send it to the honorable attorney general for his observation his observation has come it is constitutional they have come to the cabinet cabinet has approved that to be gazetted it is gazetted not as an urgent bill under normal circumstances people have their right to go to courts which is good that's part of our democracy process and Supreme Court is now hearing. Let the Supreme Court decide, not your speculations, whether this could go on a simple majority, whether certain clauses should go for two-thirds, whether certain clauses should go for referendum. So we will abide by the Supreme Court decision and determination and proceed with it. Opposition leader Sajid Premadasa accused the government of going back on its pledge to unite the country under one law by going ahead with the Colombo Port City Economic Commission bill. He also accused the government of ignoring the country's laws and its constitutions as well by setting up the Port City project as a vassal of a foreign state. Janata Vagin Janavar Milwe, Ekaratak Ekanitia, Deng Balanakota, Ekaratak Pitrak Neve, Rata Dekada Karala, Niti Padatia Dekada Karala, Ape Adikaranat Bal Dukarala, Vivasta Daikat, Tamba Satekata Ganangandinatu, Ape Rata Sampurno, Vahal De Shapa Patkarana, Me Atano Batika Kriadame, Sahamulin, Pratik Shape Karavala, Kujita Karavala, Jana Patum, Jai Grahane Karavanata, Samagi Jana Balavege, Shakti Labadinaki. Archbishop of Colombo, His Eminence Malcolm Cardinal Ranjit says that the Easter attacks were carried out by a group of people in an attempt to strengthen their political power by using religious extremism as a pawn. The Cardinal stated this at the consecration ceremony of a monument erected in memory of Easter attack victims at the Borella and Madampe cemeteries today. <laughs> Visheshen, me atmarta kami loke tula, Manusha jivite, ita matna, adu avataxi working, Salakan lavan to Yumuela Dino, Manusha game atmarta kami twenisa. Eda me ape sohiran to Paharadune, Agamika antavade nevi, E Agamika antavade pavichikaramin, Tamange desa palen, Bale, Shaktimat karaganet, Vera deru, Pirisa. May Siduima Tula Api Dakidni Agamika Unmadia Ko Agamatati Adria Konwe Tamange Bale Tavarukaran Yam Yam Kandayam Darana Putsai Pratipale at Yeta Kumana Agama Kadehewa Kumana Jati Kataiti Hua Kumana Basha Vakata Kilwa Tavat Kinekuta Virudha Ata Usala E Tanakata Hiri Harakaran. Magema Atmarta Kami Tulin Mama Yumuinana, Ea Itamatma, Avasana Vanta, Adaki. May Tulin Napi, Aperate, Sieruma Dinagi, Mila Sakimi, Paruna Kerala, Agamava, Bashava, Jatiava, Tavat Kenegota Hiri Herakaran letter, Pavichikaran Nepa. Eva Gema, Paruna Kerala, Tamange, Bale, Shakti, Penan letter, Anit Minisunga, Marana. A Chintane Miden, Natnam, Ape Rata, Mitrak Neve, Ape Muru Lokem, Ape Sindhu, Avasanavan to Tanak Bavata Pakhtar. Chief Epidemiologist Dr. Sudat Samaravira has warned of a possible spike in COVID-19 infections expected in the next four to six weeks due to the public having disregarded health and safety guidelines during the New Year period. Meanwhile, the PHI union says that if random PCR testing is increased, more daily COVID-19 patients could be identified. 253 novel coronavirus infections were confirmed in Sri Lanka yesterday, with 204 of them reported from 15 districts. 
The remaining 49 cases have been identified as imported cases. Of yesterday's tally, the Colombo district was the only district to report infections over 50, with 57 infections. The Kurunagal district meanwhile reported 33 cases of the virus, while Gampa recorded 22 infections and Trincomalee confirmed 20 cases. The districts of Jaffna, Puttalam, Kalutara and Mathara reported 15, 14, 11 and 10 cases respectively. Meanwhile, seven COVID-19 cases were reported from Kandy, five from Kilinochi and three cases each from Gaul and Anuradhapura. Further, Mulatib recorded just two cases, while the Ampara and Batiklo districts confirmed one infection each. As for today, 260 COVID-19 cases have been confirmed so far. Visheshem api dekka single sah demal alut tau kudu samai di api janata waging illa city a kagaita saukya rakshita wa hasri be adua iti meta tya kiata te idiri sati hatra thayat tatar kali di api rata tulak covid dahana be rogin badibi mak balapurutu enna puluang dahana wenda buho aitan nevata tamungge supurdu raja kari kati tu akam bekerno eni sa api balapurutu ena wa heta dawasa tulak visheshem ma basna hir palata da ita nenut kolomba nagaita visha Kala jana tawak ekarasi bayi adi ayi kela, eva gema tamai pasal katu tu nisa, sisya sisya wat wisala pramanya kenwa. Me atar covid dahana we asa ditin city haki, oga lakshana atu ho natu, e nisa me awasta we di itamat ma wedagat tu nawa. Pudgalat tu kasta bahaya pawat tu kene ema, eva gema nisi pagdi mua orne pelde ema, atar nitrama pirsudu tabaga ni ema. Eva gema tamam dirga niwa dukun passe, tamun tahamu ena naeda mitraya, sami petamya hamu nahama welanda ke Kanima, atau atau di mana wajib pudgal es paksa valin, acara sama acara kiri mana sudu sunah covid dahana berogi, atau ni mana kau ni pulang, ini sah, ini wajib awasta valdi ti tamat mana pravesham kari wasah sihikal panawing hasri mana itamat mana wedagat tu nua. In the meantime, chairman of the Public Health Inspectors Union of Sri Lanka, Upul Rohana says that random PCR tests aren't currently being conducted by municipal councils in the country. He adds that if random PCR testing is carried out, many more COVID-19 patients can be identified, raising the country's daily COVID-19 figures. In other developments, travel restrictions have been imposed on the village of Tittavelgala in Kurunagala after 29 COVID-19 infections were confirmed in the area. After a local businessman tested positive, 72 of his associates were subjected to PCR tests with the test results confirming 29 persons as COVID positive. Meanwhile, the country's overall COVID-19 recoveries rose to 93,113 today after 281 patients were given a clean bill of health. As such, the island's total active cases currently stand at 2,969. Following the onset of COVID-19, the education sector was severely disrupted. However, through the tireless efforts of the authorities, schools across the country were able to open this year and successfully complete their first term. With schools set to restart for the second term tomorrow, Secretary to the Ministry of Education, Professor Kapila Pereira, urges students and all involved in the education sector to follow health guidelines in order to quickly revert back to regular school schedules. All government and private schools in the country are scheduled to reopen tomorrow for the second term after the Singhala and Tamil New Year holidays. Dewana pasal wari, hita dina, api awam bekeri mata balap perut tu enne, silu katil tu, perusuhan angker kat tu, paridi, raja pasal, paut geli pasal, is silu dewa lalu tu, walangku enawa, is silu ma pasal paut tanna, api sahukyan sebal nirdesh, lebilati ena vidih tu mata mai, api basna hir palate, mart mas visi namenda, pasal awam bekeri nak otat, eva gemi ita pera, januari mase pasal awam bekeri nak otat, kudakala keru pradesh, ora hera. ये चक्रले के प्रकार वो तमाई सिसुम गिनवागन ने आप इतने साउंड के अध्यक्ष के जनरल तुम आगे निर्देश ले भी लेती हैं ने अलूतें साउंड के अध्यक्ष के जनरल तुम आगे निर्देश या क्लबिन तोरो ये विधि है तमा तमाई ये चक्रले के प्रकार वो पांच साल के इन्हें शिष्य संख्या वा अनुवा एक पांती एक इन्हें शिष्य Langkah satu itu, di sekitar wedi ini sesuatu yang kita kini orang, ikat kanda tu nak kita beda la, ini daru awam macam satu yang kita dengar tu nak kuat gina gina, tamai katu itu kerana none. Mesauk ke nirdesha, itama kalpana kariwa, pahwicikaran, anugamanekaran, 
ඒකෙන් තමයි අපිට පුළුවන් වෙන්නේ පාසල් වල පාසල් වලට එන දරුවන්ගේ සංඛ්‍යාව අපිට වැඩි කරගන්න පුළුවන්කමක් එහෙම ඉල්ලීම් කරන්න තරම් අපිට සෞඛ්‍ය අධ්‍යක්ෂක ජෙනරාල් තුමත් එක්ක කතා කරලා සෞඛ්‍ය ලේකම් තුමත් එක්ක කතා කරලා ඒ වගේම කොවිඩ් 19 නිවාරණ ජනාධිපති කාර්ය සාධක බලකාය ප්‍රධානි ජෙනරාල් ශවේන්ද්‍ර ශ්‍රීල මහත්මයාගෙන් අපිට ඉල්ලීම් කරන්න පුළුවන් වෙන්නේ අධ්‍යාපනයේ මහත්තයන්ෂිය විසින් ඔබගේ දරුවන් වෙනුවෙන් අපි හොඳට මේ කටයුතු කරලා විසාදණීය මට්ටමක් පෙන්නුවත් තමයි අපිට පුළුවන් වෙන්නේ යම් කිසියෝ දෙයක් යම් තැනක වෙනවා නම් අපිට දැනුම් දෙන්න The Sri Lanka police launched a special island-wide operation at noon today in a crackdown on drunk drivers and speeding after a surge in accidents in the past five days that claimed the lives of 52 people. Speaking today, DIG Adit Rohana revealed that all roads and expressway entry points will be covered and motorists can expect stern action if found guilty. The Sri Lanka police reports a surge in the number of traffic-related accidents in the country. in the past 5 days a uh, total number of 399 accidents have been reported for a period of 5 days since the 13th of april 2021 to date in addition to that 52 deaths have been reported during a period of 5 days in addition to that 669 persons have been injured in road traffic accidents with that the sri lanka police announced the launch of a special 18 hour island wide operation to nab drunk drivers on all roadways including expressway entry points uh, sri lanka police uh, are conducting a special traffic operation in respect of drunk drivers and drivers who drive their vehicles in excessive speed the police headquarters has issued a special circular to all officers in charge of police stations and the officers in charge of police divisions in addition to that the director expressway traffic division in order to conduct a special operations in respect of uh, drunk driving the operation commences at 12 o'clock in the afternoon today and it will continue for a period of 18 hours and the operation will terminate at 6 o'clock in the morning so therefore all the times uh, the police are monitoring the situation in respect of the vehicle movements of highway and in addition to that other roads so therefore you need to take all precautionary measures in order to prevent accidents and avoid drunk driving and don't drive your vehicles in excessive speed in addition to that uh, all the times you need to take precautionary actions in order to prevent uh, road traffic accidents and within a period of last 5 days we have arrested 1834 suspects uh, in respect of the offense of drunk driving and they are not granted police bail and they would be produced before the respective magistrate courts and the vehicle that had been driven by them will also be produced before the magistrate court as productions so therefore we are taking a stern action against uh, drunk drivers the sri lanka customs department has ordered the two remaining coconut oil importers to re-export their tainted consignments with immediate effect the two importers ali brothers and edri singha edible oil combined imported almost 1800 metric tons of coconut oil that were found to contain the harmful aflatoxin carcinogen a major controversy erupted last month when several consignments of imported coconut oil were found to have high levels of a deadly carcinogen called aflatoxin the exposed and ripples of concern through a populace that primarily uses coconut oil for preparing family meals katana refinery is one of the three importers whose consignments were found to contain high levels of the deadly carcinogen aflatoxin has already re-exported its 105 metric ton shipment to malaysia further ali brothers another importer had imported a total of 1513 metric tons of tainted coconut oil in four containers while edri singa edible oil the other company imported 230 metric tons in three containers accordingly the two companies have been instructed by the sri lanka customs to take immediate action to re-export their stocks Further it was reported that the Sri Lanka Customs says that its investigations into determining whether the company's oil reserves also contain the substance is in its final stages.
In business news, market analysts expect foreign counters to produce good results in the coming days, with many people returning to their normal routines after the Singhala and Tamil New Year. With that, let's now take a look at what we can expect in the market during the week ahead. The market was on an uptrend on Friday. We saw the some sort of profit taking, and we expect following week the market participants are coming back from the holiday season. We might see the some sort of gradual uptick in the market activity, which might boost the turnover. And for the March quarterly end results also coming on the corner, we might see the counters which having a exposure to the forex actually will post some good results. And plus, we seen uh, the manufacturing, the PMI also, and we saw the nine month. high which will be reflect in the quarter results and mainly the traders and the investors are looking for the counters which are going to post the good yoy results and we might see the very buying pressures on those counters in coming weeks and foreign selling side and for the last week the total foreign selling for this year exceed more than 20 billion and foreign selling side we are not seeing any sort of slow down but those foreign selling might get absorbed by the local counter parties In your international news, Indian hospitals are running short of beds, oxygen supplies and critical drugs after days of record COVID-19 cases with 261,500 cases reported today alone. Meanwhile, with US COVID-19 cases going past the 31 million mark, health officials have noted an increased number of vaccinated citizens getting reinfected. India reported a record daily increase of coronavirus infections over the last 24 hours. Health Ministry data showed today exacerbating shortages of oxygen supplies and hospital beds in some of the worst hit cities of the country. The country reported 261,500 new cases, taking the total case load to nearly 14.8 million, second only to the United States, which has reported more than 31 million infections. India's deaths from COVID-19 rose by 1,501 to reach a total of 177,150. Data showed India, hit by the spread of more contagious variants of the disease, is grappling with a severe shortage of hospital beds, oxygen supplies, and critical medicines such as the antiviral drug Remdesivir. Meanwhile, the total number of COVID-19 cases in the United States surpassed 31.62 million as of yesterday, with the death toll exceeding 566,000. The country's case count has risen to 31 million 626,565, with the national death toll reaching 566,887, according to Johns Hopkins data. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention reported on Thursday that about 5,800 people who have been administered COVID-19 vaccines in the country have still been infected with the disease. Thailand's bars and restaurants closed ahead of restrictions imposed today to curb a surge in COVID-19 cases. Bars, restaurants and convenience stores were seen to close yesterday even though the restrictions only come into effect tonight. The government announced two weeks of restrictions on restaurants to ban alcohol and to close daily in red zones in Bangkok and 18 other provinces. The last major lockdown was almost a year ago before months of relatively relaxed curbs as cases were mainly contained. But now amid the third wave of infections, the Southeast Asian country reported 1767 new coronavirus cases. to bring the total number to 42352 with 101 fatalities by today Syria is set to hold a presidential election next month a move likely to maintain president Bashar al-Assad's grip on power Assad's family and his Baath party have ruled Syria for 5 decades with the help of the security forces and the army this year is the 10th anniversary since the beginning of a civil war that has left much of Syria in ruins the multi-sided conflict has sucked in world powers killed hundreds of thousands of people and displaced millions more but is now nearing its end with Assad supported by the Russian and Iranian allies back in control of most of the country nominations for the election will close in 11 days time and candidates must have lived in syria for last 10 years which prevents key opposition figures in exile from standing opposition and western leaders have been demanding for a decade that assad whom they accuse of crimes against humanity step down assad came to power in 2000 after the death of his father hafiz al assad who became president in 1971 after a military coup in the previous year with that we wrap up tonight's edition of first at 9 thank you for joining i am shanella fernando have a good night